Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of To Be Released. It's me, Wokey, and I'm here by myself because Zen is currently hard to get a hot contact in due to work stuff. So it's just going to be me for To Be Released again. Also, I'm releasing it on the same day I'm asking for questions. Uh, I also got busy over the weekend, so I ended up putting up uh, some other stuff. It got, you know, things are complicated, you know what I mean? But regardless, I'll be releasing this episode right now. But let's first talk about the one of the units that is going to go up. Let me quickly put it up. And today's unit, I've decided, is going to be the Yardrat. Is that how you pronounce it? Goku with the fucking weird alien clothes when he learns instant transmission. That Goku. So he's a Super Saiyan Goku. His leader skill doesn't matter. Um, his passive skill is really fun. He gets attack 59%. Uh, and a high chance to evade when he's in the first spot. He gets damage uh, received from normal attacks and 59% counter with enormous power in the second or in the third spot. So if he's in the um, first spot, he gets an attack boost, and he's in the other spots, he has better chances of countering and uh, doing all that good stuff. And nothing really special other than that. Apparently he has a 50% chance to evade and something with stuns. Anyway, um... There's nothing much to say about this Goku. I think his um, counter is pretty fun. I like his counter animation. I think it's pretty good. Uh, overall, I think he's a pretty good unit. This is the fastest we I'm ever going to be doing a unit. Because when it comes to free-to-play units, you have like... I guess there's two kinds. There's the ones that easy A and then there's the ones that don't. And for the ones that don't easy A, you just hope that they're some in some way usable or fun to use... And I don't know, to me, I think he's pretty fun to use. Like, I, uh, if I'm going to be messing around with a unit, it's, it's, it, uh, I wish his boosts were more if he was going to be in the first or second spot, uh, if his passives change depending on what spot he's in. But, you know, overall, fine. I think I'll give him a three out of five on the big boy scale. I think he's a pretty good free to play unit. Um, not sure how viable he is. But I still think he's a pretty. It's a pretty pretty fun gimmick. Uh, animations are pretty good too. I think he might have a Kamehameha, which is a bummer. But everything else about him is pretty good. Yeah, yes, he has he is a transmission Kamehameha. Anyway, that's the unit. That's a three out of five big boy. It's the fastest I've we've ever had to put a person on the big boy scale. I'd say, because not a lot to say about him. Uh, and when it's just me by myself. Things go real quick, if you, I think you've noticed. It usually comes from a place of just like, I don't know if this is going to be entertaining for other people. So I'm never sure. I also don't have snake drinking water to just play off because I'm recording it uh, not late at, uh, late as fuck at night. So you get a more energetic version of me at the cost of less snake drinking water. So think about that for a bit. It's a sad time, sad time. Uh Let's go on to questions. There were no YouTube questions this time, I'm pretty sure. But if you have a question, feel free to leave it here on the YouTube and we'll read it. But uh, here are the Twitter questions. First question comes in from Yowie Mom and she has another Sonic related question. Again, Sonic is the female bird, guinea fowl, that um, she's been raising. And I was also on Sonic Watch for a bit. And she asks, what is Sonic thinking about? And it's a picture of Sonic kind of looking to the side. Thankfully, we have some other answers as Neo from at Reed Torico says freedom. And then Alex, hashtag uh, read attack on Titan, says Vogel on Koffig. Uh, and then my sister says, please don't bring up attack on Titan in front of my daughter. I'm trying to keep her away from Nazi propaganda. Alex says, say that to my face. Then my sister says, FaceTime me. And then Alex says, OK, do it now then, bitch. And then nothing has been said afterwards since. Uh, I think Sonic's just thinking about, like, life. I don't know what Sonic thinks. <laughs> it's hard to actually think about what it, what a bird thinks about. But thank you for the question. Nighthawk asks, can you, can I please get an invite to your Discord? I promise I will only send JoJo memes. You're going to have to ask Zenrot. Zenrot is the actual person in charge of the Discord, and Zenrot is not here. So please add Zenrot if you want to join his actual good Discord and not that crazy one that eventually decayed. Uh, next question comes in from... Thank you for the question. Most qu Next question comes in from Most Creative Name. And he says, why is life terrible? 
And the answer is, is that life just is terrible. There's nothing you can really do about it. You can try and enjoy the little things that come by, but no matter how hard you try, shit's just going to go bad. And sometimes it's because of the actions you've done, and sometimes it literally just doesn't matter. Sometimes there will be entire days where you're just like, I want to go somewhere. And then someone who's having a bad day will then thrust their bad day and try and make your day worse, your life more terrible. So it's just the way of life. There's just no way of like, it's the chaotic nature of life itself. There's just no way for you to really stop the terribleness, but you can at least try and like do good and hope that the good that you make makes other people inspire them to do good and maybe eventually we'll get to a point where the good outweighs the terrible uh but until then you're just gonna have to keep on fighting for the good and hope that the terrible doesn't bring you down that got uh, a little bit weirdly weird but thank you most creative name for the question next question comes in from super saiyan god super saiyan johan who says can you say happy birthday to me by the way my birthday is on july 17th and uh july 17th is zamasu day as he's left behind a picture of zamasu stuff and i'll say happy birthday zamasu Uh, i'm pretty sure i'm not sure if that's actually your birthday johan but if it is happy birthday to you too man i missed it by uh, i think a wide margin um but thank you for the questions next question comes in from we got two from paul norat who says why does pod freeze suck so much i don't know and then the other question is, what is your favorite video game? Um, it kind of goes back and forth with me a lot of the time. I think uh, the basic answer I always give is Super Mario Brothers 2, not Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Super, I guess in Japan it's called Super Mario Brothers American. It's the one that is Doki Doki Panic, but with um, a better streamlined version of it. I love it. I love that game. Um, I hope to play it again someday. For the actual uh, video. That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, that's my favorite video game. And thank you for the questions. And the next question comes in from Tay. Hashtag HiveSZN. Who says, can we stop the Vegeta abuse? Vegeta abuse. And the answer is, if they're not going to stop the Vegeta abuse, then why are we trying to stop the Vegeta abuse? That's my thing. Um, so no. Next question comes in from Special Fire Force Matt. Who says... Are you ready to storm Area 51? And the answer is no. I'm not going to go into that fucking heat to go Naruto run. I can Naruto run in the cold. Thank you. And next question comes in from N3ON0007, who says, what is your favorite series of all time in Shonen Jump? Uh, That's a hard question. I think currently it's Slam Dunk. I really love Slam Dunk. And if it was a Shonen Jump of, I guess, the big three, which is back in the day, not the current uh, current, I put in giant ass air quotes because nobody actually believes that Naruto, Bleach and uh, what the fuck was the third one? One Piece, One Piece. Well, One Piece is probably actually still very big. I don't want any One Piece fans to come after me. So please understand your series is still going. Uh, But Naruto, Baruto, get the fuck out of here. Don't care. Uh, never cared about Boruto. Don't care if you, all the people who are saying that it's actually very good now. I just don't care about the idea of Boruto. So that's just going to be a no. I didn't need it to continue. That's just a no go for me. And Bleach is in a constant state of half dead that people refuse to lay dying. But I'm talking about um, man, that was on a weird tangent. Um, big three of the old ones, with not even the old ones. It's the big three of the '90s, which is DBZ, Slam Dunk, and Fuck me, am I not going to remember Yu Yu Hakusho maybe? Was it Yu Yu Hakusho back in the day? Let's go with Yu Yu Hakusho because I like Yu Yu Hakusho. But of, um, of its era, Slam Dunk is probably left a bigger impact on Shonen Jump's actual uh, viewer base back in the day. Not that that means anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Slam Dunk is currently my favorite Shonen Jump. <laughs> I think it's the one that is the best out of the of its specific era, I think. And it's also the one that never gets read by most people in the West because it's about basketball, uh, which is a damn shame because I think it's uh, extremely good and is definitely worth a watch. It, I think it has the greatest final arc of any manga I've ever seen. 
and I think it was a very it's the kind of it's the kind of ending where you go like I don't want it to end but really there's no there's like something special to the idea of like here is our main goal and once the main goal is achieved a lot of mangas will be like let's continue onward which is something that i guess is my main problem with baruto is the idea of that it should have ended the second naruto became hokage and it's over there's no mission accomplished right but no it continues onward and some manga obviously cannot handle the fact that they have one giant arc and for slam dunk there was one giant arc and it was very specifically like win this um go to see if we can win with this specific team and it's something special for them to not like do a time skip right afterwards and say like well here's the adventures of the of the new team that came afterwards because some of them graduate at the end not to spoil what happens at the end of uh, slam dunk but some the reason why the characters care so much is because it's it's the last year there it's their last chance of actually being able to make it and they really make you feel like that matters, that these uh, these characters will never have another chance to get this. And it's actually extremely heartbreaking on both sides that none of them can actually make it. So for the idea of it to be like, no, this is the end. That We understand that you care about these characters. There's obviously a new generation coming afterwards. They don't matter as much because the the story of these characters is basically finished. And I can appreciate a manga that realizes that it it should end at some point like you can't continue it going on and on and on and on and stuff like that it's similar to like um i guess the reason why so many people believe that toriyama wanted it to end when goku died because the story was in essence finished because goku realized that i'm actually a determinant like every time i'm on there things go bad so i'm just gonna stay dead for this one because it actually gives like it's it's something that Dragon Ball always had like I think like that specific endpoint is ends up being strong because in the one point you go like hey we have Dragon Balls we can just bring you back Goku and that's what a lot of people go like some people will look at Goku's decision to be as as selfish and you go like no that's that's death that there shouldn't be a domain that says I should just be continuously allowed to live when someone deciding that it's finally time to stop, it sucks that in the sense of like, oh, my, you know, my family is gone. I'm not going to see them. But when Goku actually makes a decision and he makes a decision that's like, you guys are going to be fine without me. I've literally died multiple times and it seems like every single time I come back, things get worse. This is just the way it's going to be. And he's right, too. <laughs> Because the second he comes back, all the boo shit happens. Now, you could also say that it didn't matter because the boo shit would have happened regardless. But that's also because Akira Toyama's writing and all that other stuff. But yeah, I enjoy a manga that um, knows when to specifically end. And uh, Slam Dunk is fantastic at that. So if you've never read Slam Dunk, you should definitely give it a shot. Some of the character designs can be a little bit uh, funky. But regardless of that, I think it's still extremely enjoyable. Uh, so that's going to be it for 2B Release. Thank you for joining me for an extremely short episode. I think the shortest episode of 2B Release ever released. But this is what happens um, when it's just me by myself. You know what I mean? So join us next time whenever that happens. Um, hopefully Zen will be back. But if he's not, expect more me, basically. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did... That's great, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.